So let's talk a bit about Google Analytics. Google Analytics lets you track the, the traffic on your website. You, uh, you can use it to see where your traffic comes from, uh, where it lands, which are your uh, landing pages, which pages give you the, the most traffic, which is your uh, biggest source of traffic, how much uh, time are pe people spending on your website, and many, 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 many more. I will show you all this, but first, of course, I have to show you how you can create your account. The easiest way, of course, go to google.com, write Google Analytics, and simply uh, click on the first link right here. So as soon as you do this, you have to click on sign in up here and select Google Analytics. Give it a second. And I'm automatically logged in because it, it say, uh, has all my credentials. You should have a Google account by now. So it will simply ask you for your email and for your password. So log in and you will see exactly what I'm seeing. As you can see, I already have a lot of uh, websites here. So I will show you how you can add a website to the Go Analytics now. Now, the easiest way to do this is simply go to up here to admin. And then here you will see a few different uh, types of settings. These are the settings for your account. These are the settings for your uh, property or your website. And these are some other settings that I have never uh, used. First thing you have to do, click on property, then click on create new property. You can have up to 50 properties or 50 websites here on, on your uh, Google Analytics account. So click, click on create new property. And here you have to supply a name for your website. This can be any name. This name will be simply, uh, will only be available here within the Google, Google Analytics. And it's, uh, it's going to simply be used to, uh, to, to name your uh, property, to name your property. That's all it's going to do. So let's call it with the name of our website. We say that it's going to be Simera Online, for example. Our website URL will be, well, it's not SimeraOnline.com because I haven't purchased this domain. So I will point to the temporary domain that I'm currently using for the website that I'm currently working on. Now you have to select a, a, a category for your website, which in which category is it? it? This is not a requirement, but you can do this if you want. So simply select the category that best uh, describes your website. So I'm going to simply select the first one. It doesn't matter. You can select the time zone in which you want your analytics to report the information about your traffic. So it really doesn't matter, at least for me. If you want, you can select your time zone. I don't really care about this. And you have to click on get tracking ID like this. All right, so this is your tracking ID. And this is your uh, calls that you have to place on your, your website in order for the Google Analytics to be able to track your website and so on. All right, so this is how you, you can create your Google Analytics tracking ID. You can, if you want to create another Google Analytics tracking ID, you simply go again to admin and you click, click on create new property and that's how you do all this.